How to fix update KB50773 failed to install in Windows 11 25H2 or 24H2. Hello friends, follow the steps to fix any installation problems with this out of band update for Windows 11 25H2 or 24H2. The first method you should try is install the update from Microsoft Update Catalog. Go to the video description and click on the link to Microsoft Update Catalog. You will reach this page after clicking the link. Here you can see multiple files. Check the system type of your computer to determine which file is compatible with your system. For this, click on Start. Select Settings. Go to System. Scroll down. Click on About. This is System Type 64 bit operating system, x64 based processor. This is my system type. Check yours and find the file Windows 11 version 25H2 for x64 based systems. This file is compatible with my system. Find yours and click on the respective download button for the file. Over here, click on this link. Let the file download. Once completed, click on the folder icon. Right click on the downloaded file. Select open. Update for Windows KV50770773 is already installed on this computer. On my computer, this update is already installed. Follow the on screen instructions to complete the installation. If the issue still persists, fix installation using Windows Update. For this, click on Start, select Settings, go to System, scroll down, click on Recovery. Here is Fix Problems using Windows Update. Click on Reinstall now. Check this box and click on OK. Once you click on OK, a repair version of the Windows update will be downloaded here. Once downloading is completed, click on Restart now to install the update. See if the issue is fixed. If the issue still occurs, run Windows Update Troubleshooter. Go to the video description and copy this path from there. Right click on Start, select Run. Paste the path here and click on OK. The legacy version of the Windows Update Troubleshooter will appear. This troubleshooter is more effective than the current version of Get Help app. Click on the link Advanced and click on Next. Once completed, follow the instructions given by the troubleshooter and click on Close. Then try to install the update. Click on Start, select Settings. Go to Windows Update and click on Check for Updates. Once the update is downloaded, restart your computer to install the update. If the problem still persists, then reset Windows Update components. For this, click on Search, type CMD, right click on Command Prompt, select Run as Administrator, go to the video description and find these commands there. Run these commands one line at one time. Copy the first line, paste into the command prompt, press enter. Copy the second line, paste into the command prompt, paste enter. In the same way, run all these commands. Once completed, Close the command prompt and restart your computer. Then check if the update is installed without any issue. In case the problem still appears, then modify services. To do this, click on search, type services, 
click on services find app readiness in the list this one right click on this service select properties change the startup type to automatic if it is not automatic and uh, click on start if the service is stopped click on apply click on ok right click on app readiness select restart then look for background intelligent transfer service right click on this service select properties change the startup type to automatic if it is not automatic and click on start if it is stopped click on apply click on ok right click on background intelligent transfer service select restart in the same manner find cryptographic services this one right click on this service select properties the startup type is already automatic here and the service is already running so nothing is needed click on ok right click on cryptographic services select restart finally locate windows update this one right click on this service select properties change the startup type to automatic and click on start if the service is stopped click on apply click on ok then close the services window and check for updates If any issue still happens, then run system files checker and DISM tools. For this, click on search, type CMD, right click on command prompt, select run as administrator, go to the video description, find this command there, copy the SFC scan now command, paste into the command prompt and press enter. After the process is completed, copy the DISM restore health command from the description, paste into the command prompt and press enter. Close the command prompt and restart your computer. Then check for updates and try to install it. If any methods don't work, then you will have to perform in place upgrade for this open a browser type windows 11 download press enter click on this link download windows 11 scroll down to download windows 11 disk image iso for x64 devices and click on select download select this option Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO for x64 devices. If your device is ARM64 based, then click on this link and follow the steps accordingly. For x64 based device, click on Confirm. Now you will need to select the product language. For this, check the language of your system. Click on Start, select Settings, go to Time and Language, click on Language and Region, Windows Display Language is English United States, here click on Choose One, select English United States. If, if your Windows Display Language is different, then choose that one here and click on Confirm. Click on 64-bit Download. Let the download complete. Once completed, go to the download location. Right click on the ISO file and select mount. Click on open. Right click on setup.exe. Select open. 
uncheck this box this option will take much more time so uncheck it and click on next for applicable notices and license terms click on accept finally click on install your computer will restart several times during the installation the out of band update will be installed along with this uh, installation wait for it the issue will be solved that's all friends thanks for watching the video